Hey, lovely ladies and gentlemen, it's Steve Collins coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Especially for those of you who have kids, this may save your butts a little bit. Um, as you know, there's a lot of first-time things going on in the state of Texas, particularly in San Antonio. Uh, we haven't had electricity for like a long time. Then we got electricity back, and then there's no water. And the latest is that uh, San Antonio water systems will likely be shifting how they distribute water because the challenge that they have is that it's pumped out through electricity. And with the electrical problems, people are running into issues now with water. So I have a great idea, particularly if you guys have kids. And if you guys can see, clearly there's, you know, there's snow on the ground out there. And what a great idea. Get your most gigantic big pots on the stove, not burning hot. Okay, but just hot enough to melt stuff and tell the kids, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play bring the snow into the house game and get your kids involved to go out and start bringing in tons and tons of the snow because you're not going to use it to drink, right, or bathe. You're just going to use it to pull the lid off the top of your toilet in the back and pour the water in. But if you have the kids bringing in snow, they're gonna have some fun, they're gonna hang out. You have the stove that's heated up and you can have the kids bringing in the snow and as soon as it hits the pot, it'll start melting. And it'll melt, it'll melt, it'll melt. And then you can start putting that, some people say into a bathtub, or some people will say putting it into you know larger buckets. If you've got those big five gallon buckets, maybe from Lowe's or Home Depot, those big orange ones, or if you've got big containers, but this is a way that you can have access to enough water to begin to flush your toilet. So you can get creative after that. I've got a giant family, so it may be a little gross, but I said, uh, this one's gonna be for number one. <laughs> Y'all gonna fill it up till it's gross. That one be for number two, and then we fill it up until we start going, and, and then that way you have the water to flush. So, you know, the problem is this. Um, it's not that people run out of resources. It's your capacity and ability to be resourceful in the moment. So you've got plenty of like literally frozen water sitting out there. And if you've got kids who are bored or sitting at home, play the bring in the snow game. You've got four burners on the stove. If you have electricity, hopefully you have electricity. And then you can begin to put it in there little by little, let it melt, fill it up into buckets, and then you'll have enough water. You'll keep the kids active, maybe some lifetime memories. I hope that helps. Feel free to share this with any friends and family members that might enjoy turning this uh, funky situation into something good. Uh, Rick, I see that. I'm not driving. I can see you now. Rick, I hope you're doing good, my friend. Yeah, you don't have any kids there. Well, Rick, I got news for you. You're a married man. You the kid. So you got to go do it for your wife. <laughs> okay. But if you've got snow that's sitting out there, guess what? You have enough water just waiting to be melted. Again, not hot enough on the stove that it would actually begin to evaporate, but just hot enough uh, and warm enough that it would melt so that you guys can, can actually use that to fill up whatever else you need to fill up. But as long as that no snow is sitting on the ground and it's out there, you've got plenty of water available. All right, guys? Hope you all have a great afternoon. Stay warm, stay fed. If you are struggling bad and you're in dire straits, please DM Angela and I, and we will do anything in our power to help you, okay? Take care.